Okay, and welcome to our third lesson on multiplication using the grid. What we're going to move on to today is our objective to understand three digit by three digit multiplication using the grid. As you can see, we've got our same five steps to success, and this lesson builds on the previous two, which is uh, one digit by two digit multiplication using the grid and two digit by two digit multiplication using the grid again. So let's move on to our first step, which is partition the numbers. Here is my problem already written up. So I've got 246, so the first number we're going to partition is 246. There are two hundreds, so that is 200, plus four tens, so that is 40, plus six units. And as you can see, if we added those numbers back together, they equal 246. We're multiplying or timesing that by 124. There is 100, two tens, which is 20, plus four units which is the four again, if you add those back together, it would equal 124. Pause the video now, partition your number. Okay, welcome back. On to our second step, which is the nice easy one. We're going to draw our grid. There is one line going down, one line going across, and we put the multiply sign in so we don't forget what operation we're doing. Pause your video, draw your grid. Okay, third step. Put the parts of the numbers into the grid. Now remember my little tip is you always put the first number in the column and your second number in the row, then you won't confuse yourself. So we'll put the 200 in, we'll put the 40 in, and we'll put the 6 in. Second number is 100, 20, and 4. And again, all I've done is those partition numbers. If you added those back together, you'd have 246 multiplied by 124. Pause your video while you put those steps in. And we're moving on to our fourth part, which in this case is our possibly a little bit more complicated because we have so many operations to do. Let me show you what I mean. It is multiply all of the parts. So if we look at the 200 here, that's one part, we need to multiply it by all of the parts of the other number. So 200 times 100, 200 times 20, and 200 times 4. So as you can see, there are three parts just to that one operation. The next one, let me get a different colour here. We need to multiply the 40. So 40 times 100, 40 times 20, 40 times 4. Again, there are three operations for that number because there are, is the number here and we need to multiply it by all three parts of the other digit. And the last one is the 6. So 6 times 100, 6 times 20, 6 times 4. We've got all of our operations there. As you can see, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine operations easily worked out. Three digits times three digits gives you our nine operations. What I'm going to do with our grid, just to make things a little bit simpler today, I'm just going to put some additional lines in here. So I'm going to break this up into nine equal parts, which will be our nine operations. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, time to multiply those parts together. Let me find a nice colour that should work. The first operation we're going to do is this one here, which is 200 multiplied by 100. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 100 is 200. 2 times 20 is 2,000. 2 times 200 is 20,000. Looking at some big numbers here. Next one is 40 times 100. 4 times 100 is 400. 40 times it must be 4,000. 6 times 100 is 600. What I'll do, I'll just write those in there. So that was 40 times 100, and this is 6 times 100. As you can see, I'm putting this number first, just to avoid any confusion. So let's follow that pattern through. This one is going to be 200 times 20. 200 times 2 is 400. 200 times 20 is 4,000. Next one is 40 times 20. So if we multiply those together, four, 40 times 2 is 80, 40 times 2 is 800. And our last one is 6 times 20. I'll write it in, 6 times 20. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 20 is 120. Moving on to our last column now. 200 
multiplied by 4. 200 times 4 is 800. 40 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So 40 times 4 must be 160. And our last one, 60 times 4, sorry, 6 times 4 equals 24. So they are our nine operations. Pause your video now while you work the operations out for your calculation. And moving on to our last part, we need to add those totals together. So, you can do this a number of ways. You could add up your rows first. You could add up your columns first. You could add up all of your thousands first. What I'm going to do is add up my columns. So 20,000 plus 20,000 plus 4,000 is 24,000, plus 600 is 24,600. Next one, 4,000 plus 800, for 4,000 plus 800 is 4,800, plus 120 is 4,920. And my last column, 800 plus 160 is 960, plus 24 is 984. We now need to add those three numbers together to get our answer. So let's write them here, 24,600 plus 4,920 plus 984. Add those together, 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 2 is 10, so the 0 there carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 9 is 16, plus 9 is 25, so the 5 there carry the 2. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus the 2 is 10, so that's a 0, carry the 1, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So our answer should be 30,504. If you want to check your answer on the calculator, well done if you followed those steps, that's quite advanced mathematics.